students are back with another video. In this video, we will learn how a full wave rectifier works with and without filters. The figure here shows a full wave rectifier with and without filters. First, to learn how a full wave rectifier works, let us see what are the components of a full wave rectifier. We consider a transformer and this is a center tap transformer. And then we consider two diodes named D1 and D2. And across the diode, we consider a load for a without filter. And for with filter, we consider a capacitor across the load. To learn how a full wave rectifier works, let us now go into the working of it. Now, as an input, we give an AC supply, single phase AC supply. A single phase wave AC supply is shown in this waveform. So, when a positive peak is given to uh, this transformer, that due to this mutual induction principle, the same signal is appeared across the secondary winding of the transformer. So, during a positive half cycle, the diode D1 convex. Whereas, during the negative half cycle, this diode being forward bias, as the negative and negative signal becomes forward bias, this D2 convex, convex and the output is appeared across the load. So, during the positive half cycle, we, we get a positive peak and during the negative half cycle also, we get a positive peak due to the D2 convex. So, this is an output waveform when the two diodes are conducted. Now, to learn how a, a capacitor uh, function, now we again give the supply, the same process takes place as without filters, but the only thing that capacitor does is that the capacitor allows all the AC components and blocks the DC components. As a result, all the AC components are, cap are taken by the capacitor and are grounded, and all the DC components are appeared across the load. That's why we see a difference in the signal like this. This is how a full wave rectifier works with and without filter. Please do like, share and comment. Subscribe to Smart Student to be a Smart Student. Do you know the difference between shunt and parallel? Let us know. For an AC current, the capacitive reactance is 0 ohms. That means for an AC, a capacitor acts as a short circuit. So, in this circuit, the current is being split as AC and DC. AC flows through this capacitor because here the capacitor action is a short circuited action. This is called a shunt circuit. But whereas in a parallel circuit, the current does not vary in types. So, this we call it as a parallel circuit.